Um, now, is it... you now that your button's unbuttoned, or... What button? That one? No. Oh. I was going to tell that. Oh, six-pack getting a little too stout for the old buttons, huh? <laughs> Um, but thanks for the, thanks for that, Erica. You're welcome. So, <laughs> so now that now understand. now back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's uh, kind of an overcast day here in Central Texas. And Clancy and I are fixed to embark on a little road trip today. We're going to drive about three and a half hours to, I'd say, kind of northeast Texas, maybe. Uh, north and east of Dallas. And we're going to go pick up something pretty awesome to us. We think it's pretty awesome, so... Y'all come along with us today, and, and we'll show you what we got. All right, guys, we just showed up here at Petty, Texas, home of East Texas Trailers. The Texas Trailer Sales is their uh, kind of their, their storefront. So we uh, got us a new welding trailer to replace the old Army trailer. So we're going to go in here and get, it, get the paperwork taken care of, and then we're going to get it hooked up head back to Gatesville. Let's go take a look. Oh, is it going now? Yes. Okay. Good job. Okay, guys. So we made it made it up here to Petty, Texas, to East Texas Trailers to pick up our new welding trailer. I'm just going to kind of give you my, my original walk around and kind of let you know what my first thoughts are about the trailer. First off, I love the color on it. We got to pick this gray color. I really like that. I think it's going to look awesome. Um, I love the, the size of it. It's not too big. We, we chose an 8-foot trailer. This trailer is also available in like a 10 foot, maybe a 12 and a 16, something like that. Um, we chose the eight foot because we're not full-time welders. We're just, we're working around the ranch and we're doing stuff for neighbors. So this is gonna fit our needs perfectly. I love the bottle racks on it. Um, th this is gonna be a big improvement for us because we don't carry our bottles on our welding trailer right now. So when we need them, we have to, to mess around with them to get them, load them up on the back of the truck, something like that. So. I really like that. Um, this bottle rack, something that's really neat about it is if you wanted to haul something on here or do something, this thing will fold down also and fold out of the way. Um, I like that. I don't know that we're ever gonna, gonna fold it down because most of the time we're gonna keep our bottles in it, so I really like that. Or it'll stand up straight when you need to pull your bottles out of it. You can stand it up straight, makes it easier to pull your bottles out. So. I really like that feature on this trailer. It comes with a toolbox mounted on the front here, like that. All LED lights, it's got a Dexter 3,500 pound axle on it. Um, these, these reel holders, you can, you can pull them out. So when we get ready to set our welder on here and decide exactly how we want it set up, we may end up pointing the welder that direction, so I may move move the lead holder to that side of the trailer and put that one over here. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that all out once we get it, get her home and get her set up. But just my initial impression so far, I love this little trailer. I can't wait to get it home and get it mounted up. You can see here behind me, these guys make all kinds of trailers. I mean, we got flatbed trailers, gooseneck or bumper pull. Look up in here. So this, I believe, holds porta potties and trash. It's got a fuel trailer in here. They got gooseneck dump trailers. They got if you need a if you need a roll off dumpster, they got roll off dumpsters. Anything you want, they got them here. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna get headed home and see how it drags. Good morning, guys. Cody and Clarence here at the Bar Seven, and today. It's pretty overcast and dreary today. And so you might be hearing some water running through the downspouts out of the, out of the shop here. But this morning we're in here with our new welding trailer from East Texas Trailers. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and start getting it set up and rigged up so that we can get, uh, get it ready to go to work. So, um, I think we've already kind of, we did it. We tried to do a walk around at the plant where they manufacture it up in Petty, Texas, but lots of road noise and stuff going on around us, lots of equipment. So we're gonna kind of do another quick walk around. 
Clarence, I'm going to hand you the camera and let you. You want to jump down here with your kind of. We'll just kind of start at the front and make our way around. So, you got a regular two inch ball hitch on it. It's got a toolbox here. So, you know, we're probably going to put our welding helmets in here, our welding rods, gloves, that kind of stuff like that. It's got a, you know, a jack on the side. I really like this bottle holder system here. So, just the pin here that. So we're, we're going to go ahead and get our oxygen acetylene bottles put on there. This thing's pretty neat because it will also, it also folds down. You just undo this pin and then you pull this out and it'll fold down. Yeah, show them how, see, it'll fold down and it'll actually pin down down here. So this is the, the rack to roll your welding leads up, but I think, and me and Bob are going to have to play with it and see exactly how we want this to look, because um, I don't know if I'm going to, I'll probably set our welder in right here, straight across the trailer, and that'll still give us plenty of room on the back, because what I have in mind, look at this. What I think I'm going to do is we're going to have to play with it, so we're probably going to move the this spare tire and see if we can put it up at the front. Um, all it is is taking a bolt out. Uh, we may have to drill a hole up at the front. But what I'd like to do is see if there's a way, maybe later on we can build a, some kind of a rack or a table of some kind with some expanded metal on it or some, something, something on the top so if you need to cut stuff out, it'll all be on top here and then you'll have your welder kind of right there across, right in front of the axle maybe. So we got to play with it a little bit to see exactly what we want to do, but I know for sure the first thing we want to do is get the bottles put on it. That way we can get them off that rolling cart and get it ready to go. And then maybe by then the, all the, the old dreary rain kind of stuff will be blowed out and we can get out there and get the welder set up here and kind of start seeing how we want to want to get it mounted up. So it's got a little, little this little piece of angle iron here so you can lay a piece of pipe in there or something and cut it. All LED lights, I really like that. Um, it's a pretty nice little trailer, so we're, we're excited. It's a big upgrade from our old uh, Army trailer, so we're, we're really looking forward to getting it set up. So let's get to it. Lights, camera, action. Action. Where would be a good place for you, old camera? Um, well, let's get this. We need to get that ratchet strap loose first. Got I know, I'm saying you were turning around so you don't have to walk nah. around and get it. Yeah, we're, we're working around, we're working, rolling around. Like a glove. Close on there. Now then hold this so it don't fall over. Always like when we go to the welding supply store. You know, those guys can take two bottles and walk them, just kick them and walk on in each hand. I'm not that good yet, so. All right, so we're gonna set this one in here. Jump up there so it don't. You almost didn't make it up that one, Dad. Forgot about that part. Got it. Perfect. I forgot that thing fell out, falls over. Okay guys, so we got our new East Texas trailers, welding trailer, and we got our bottles set on it and our, our torch, our hose and all that for the torch on there. I gotta get a set of those fancy dancy safety bottle things that goes on the top, the safety guards, so I can leave my 
um, regulators and everything hooked up all the time, so we hadn't got that done yet. I hadn't bought those yet, but we're gonna go get the old Miller picked up and get it set on there, and then me and Bob are gonna move it around a few different ways and kind of really decide what what uh, which way the orientation like orientation we like the best. So let's do that. Bob, you ready? Born ready, he says. <laughs> you think it should go? I think upon further inspection we would be better off to face it the other direct face it this way and put, in, and put a 90 degree on it. exhaust tip on it that way it blows it straight up in the air and it'll be out of the way and we can get a cool little flapper on it where it looks like a big rig like an old ball, like an old tractor used to have on it. Is that the common consensus? Yes. Great. Okay, guys. So we got everything set up. We got the welder bolted on. Got the leads put on where we wanted them. We did us a little deal here. Erica's on the wrong side. What side do you want me on? Over there, so you can see the back side of this. Oh, you didn't say what side it was on. Okay. I got this. Mom's got it. So right here we, we just put some little holders on here to keep the leads separated and keep them from moving too much. We got our, I guess we got everything done. Um, we're going to order us a set of safety caps to put on there so we can keep our regulators hooked up. We'll probably get some quick connects for the hoses that will hook on to the end of the hose, at, on both ends of the hose. That way we can take the cutting torch on and off and not leave it out exposed to elements we also got show them what all we got in the front here bub so we got the toolbox on the front loaded up with we've got two welding hoods in there multiple sets of gloves there's pull that welding hood out so mom can look down in there there's plenty of welding rods we got a little plastic box in there that's got our our uh, soap stones our tape measures I mean, anything we're going to need will go in there. And whenever we get our fancy new caps from Miss Amy, though, we'll have one for each of us in there also. So, pretty satisfied with this little baby so far. We moved the, the spare tire from the back corner up to here. I think it's going to bounce and vibrate a whole lot less up here on the front corner than it did on the back. Um, we did a little work to the welder. It was not wanting to run right, so we got it. Got it tuned up and ready to go so this summer clients will have a few welding projects around the place to take care of just a few little minor things welding some caps on some posts and fixing a little bit of stuff here and there so i don't know what else to say guys if you're looking for a welding trailer check out east texas trailers we'll put a link in the description there and they've got a dealer locator they're all over the united states 
So you can find the closest one to you. If you're not looking for a welding trailer, if you're looking for any kind of trailer, they got it. So let's back it up under there, get it unhooked, and get to the next job, huh? Y'all keep welding. I mean, keep ranching. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for thanks for coming along today. As always, like and subscribe. If you got any questions, we do our best to answer them. Drop them in the comment section. And as always, keep ranching. Good enough. I like the rim. Huh? I like the y'all keep welding. Oh. Yeah. Okay guys, so we love to build everything ourselves from scratch, but sometimes when you sit down and you do the penciling, which is one thing that I really enjoy doing too, is figuring out what stuff costs. Sometimes it's cheaper to buy things than it is to build them, like this trailer. Um, by the time you bought a Dexter axle like comes under this trailer, the fenders, the all the metal to build it, you take all the time to cut it and weld it, and, you know, the, the time in your shop, the time on your with your you know, either your chop saw, if you're using a cutting torch, your oxygen settling, all that kind of stuff. When you add all that stuff up, sometimes it's cheaper to just to buy one. And that's what we did here. That's why we went and got this trailer, because it was cheaper to, to get one than it was to build it from scratch. Um, now, Can is it... you now that your button's unbuttoned, or... What button? That one? No. Oh. I was going to tell that. Oh, six-pack getting a little too stout for the old <laughs> buttons, huh? Um, but... Thanks for the, thanks for that, Erica. You're welcome. So, so now that now understand. now back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, is it as stout as we would have built one on our own? Probably not. But we wait. You know, a lot of times we have the the tendency to way over build stuff. This is going to do everything we want it to do. It's it's way stouter than the the little military trailer that we that we took the welder and everything out of. It's, it's better for us because now we've got our oxygen settling bottles on here. We've got a little toolbox. It's all in one unit. This trailer in particular is eight foot long, so it's going to back in and sit right where we want it out of the weather under the barn right here. So um, just keep that in mind, guys. Whenever you get ready to, to build something, pencil it all out and say you're going to have 20 hours of labor in something, but maybe you're a mechanic. Could you do 20 hours of mechanic work and end up ahead and buy what you want and have money to put in your pocket? That's the kind of things I like to I like to think about, you know. Um, as much as I love working and welding in the shop, we just don't have the time to do that all the time. So I can do something else to make a little money and, and pay for this rig. So, so keep that in mind anytime you're doing a project, folks. What are you doing? That's, That's not going. You don't have it videoing. I know. Yep. Perfect. How do you like how easy it is to back up on this thing? Well, this Can-Am does a great job and you're backing up. It's got lots of power. I was talking about the trailer. Oh. It backed up pretty good too. He's never been in a news report. He's new at He's this. New at this. Also, he obviously doesn't know how to work a trailer. He's got to kick it off!
Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a point like what we're doing anyway. That thing is not releasing like uh, it's supposed to. It's just got some stuff built up in it. Because that doesn't use the shell. It's been used enough. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work when we get ready to. Might have to put a little shorter jack on it. Y'all keep branching. Keep branching. Right. And welding.